Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler, market analyst here. Today we're going to be looking at um, WTI crude oil. Now it's down a full 2.5% today, which is a massive move in oil markets, and it's dropped below $90 per barrel uh, for the first time in 17 months uh, since 2008. So we're going to look at some of the triggers of this and what we could see going forward. Now, when we're looking at the WTI contracts, what we're focusing on is North America and production of oil in North America. And there has been an absolute energy boom going on there where um, we're looking at a situation where the production of US oil is going to be projected to be the highest since 1970 next year. So a massive increase in the supply of oil in global markets. And part of what's prompted this recent uh, decline in price is that that has been matched by a, do, uh, a global decrease in demand, um, as judged by economic indicators out there. Um, over the last week, we've had various manufacturing reports, mostly pointing to a slowdown, particularly in Europe, but also in China and Japan, and, and in fact, um, a slight moderation of the improvement going on in the US. So that supply-demand imbalance is a continuing theme, and there's not looking like too much that's going to step in the way of that at the moment. Probably the only thing would be a more of an international intervention by OPEC, which may perhaps have a, a bigger influence over the price of Brent, but also over the global supply and would influence WTI as well, um, whereby at the moment OPEC, the group of countries um, dominated by Saudi Arabia, um, have, have said they're not going to cut their production and, and decrease the global supply of oil. And if that remains the case, this supply demand imbalance is going to continue. But perhaps next year, uh, the, there have been some indications they may in fact cut production and maybe that would be the, the time that this, um, this uh, decline in oil prices happens or perhaps markets will forecast that ahead of time. Uh, but for, for the moment, the, price is, uh, the price trend is very much down. So let's have a look at this price trend and see where um, some of the important levels are. So here we have a weekly candlestick chart, so a longer term perspective. You'll remember in a, a previous uh, snapshot, we had a more uh, short term outlook pointing to a uh, head and shoulders formation, which uh, has since hit its target around 91.50. And we've subsequently blo uh, broken below $90 per barrel. And you can see the rising trend line here, where so that level was particularly important, had that rising long-term trend line, uh, but also the, the previous lows. And so having moved below there, we could be looking towards $85 per barrel, would be a next longer-term support level. And as you can see, we're kind of in this, this longer-term range between uh, around $75 to $78 to uh, $110 per barrel. So we could, in fact, be pushing down towards the bottom end of this range, around $75 per barrel for WTI. Um, should the current trend continue. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We, of course, were looking at the WTI crude oil contract. Let's keep an eye out on uh, production in the US. That's expected to expand, um, but there are various um, EIA energy reports out on the, the pace of production. Let's watch those, but also in the Middle East. Um, Libya, for example, has come back on producing uh, large amounts of oil for the OPEC countries. So should that continue, again, another increase in supply and a downward pressure on the price of oil. But also, obviously, let's look at these demand factors and global demand and global economic growth.